<coughs> hello, hello, good evening. Hello everyone, welcome you all uh, joining my uh, live. Hello Sabine. Hello Alexandra. So let's wait a few minutes for more people to, to join in. And today, in the meantime, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen today. Greetings from Germany. Oh, hello Germany. Um, so nice you watching. Hello Tammy, hello. So today we are going to, um, hello Olga, we are going to do some um, knitted designs, some sweater cables, and I'm going to show you how to create a bit raised structure and a bit less raised, and also how to create some flat designs as well, because not all of the clients like in, um, like in raised structure and a bit of texture. So we're going to do something flat as well. Still going to look like a sweater. Uh, hello, Anna. Hello, Silke. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. So for those of you that are joining in the first time, my name is Magda Gniewek, and I'm a magnetic expert, educator, and a distributor of magnetic nail design products in the UK. Hello, Jeanette. And uh, yeah, every fortnight I do some live on Magnetic Nails UK page. And every fortnight we create something, uh, something cool and something exciting. So two weeks ago we were doing some uh, gems, hidden gems, super trendy designs. And once the Halloween is over and we're going into the winter design, we're going to create some sweater, sweater design. Hello, Sandra. Okay, so while you all, uh, will we wait for more people to hop on and I'll just switch over the camera and turn on the light and I'll just prep myself for these designs just do that this way and switching it like that okie doke so let's get some light light is there so that's uh, yeah that's our light so i've got this printed hello edita hello guys so i've got the printed um some ideas for you for these designs first so as you can see there are different sweater cables you don't have to do the cables at all, but you can see there are different designs. So it's not like there's only one pat. There's only one pattern that you can use for your designs. You can use plenty of. If you would like to take a screenshot of this one, you're more than welcome. Um, and I will give you some idea because I know from the um, from my students. Hello, Marina. From my students, they always struggled. Um, and they say, oh, I don't know how to do or which texture do you do just yet. Yeah, just take a screenshot, keep it in your phone, and then you can repeat these designs with easy. And of course, you don't need to make it as difficult. I'm going to show you how to create uh, super easy versions of that, that are really salon suitable, because you know, I love the stuff that is um, wearable, and I love the stuff that is useful to make in a salon, uh, especially if we have like last minute designs and stuff. Uh, hello, Annabella. Okay, so these are our patterns. I can't do it, Alexandra. Oh, Alexandra, I'm going to show you, you're going to create it, no problem. No problem, I promise you. So uh, before I start, I've just prepared, so a uh, few of these designs I've just made uh, last week, but today I've prepared the rest. Uh, so we're going to do something similar to this you can see that this is really raised, nice and raised structure. And I've got the different combinations of this one. And I'm going to show you what I've used and how to do it. Never did it before. And uh, that's great, Janet. So hopefully um, you, will, you will get some useful info today and you're going to try. So I really, really like this one uh, with uh, for, uh, Fular Brown. Oh, this is how it's called, forgetting this name. Uh, from the uh, Picnic in Paris collection. And I also have, of course, the blue. And actually today I'm wearing the sweater and is matching my, uh, and this these colors are matching my sweater as well. Mine is navy blue, so I'm just going to show you like that. So you can see this will be the perfect match, okay? And I also have the one that I really, really adore because I love glitter. And instead of the um, just normal sprinkles, I've used the glitters. And I'm going to show you the glitters as well, how you can create these designs with the glitters. 
and at the last one these are super flat designs so these are all for the clients that would like to wear some kind of sweater look design but uh, they don't like any race structure any texture of the nails they like flat nails glossy and this is what i'm going to show you so let's start any any color would you like to have girls first let me know in comments before i start so i've got my tip i'll just quickly buff it and you can tell me hello awesome sweeter still waiting for the paris collection hopefully We'll get it this week. Um, Joanna, you're going to love the Picnic in Paris collection. It's absolutely beautiful. And already started, as you see, using this for a winter design and I'm going to use um, a lot. So I'll just buff my tip. And I'll need some brush. Can't wait. So which color girls? Which one would you like me to start from? Are we going to start from the brown? full rose rose okay let's do the rose so um where is my oh, pale. Mm -hmm. oh i don't have rose cream okay guys i need to i need to get my rose cream Green, please, Rose. It shows that on your values of followers. What is that? I'm getting older. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to use the rose cream, the first one, and I'm going to first create the first layer uh, of the gel polish on my designs. The rose is gorgeous. Hello, Michaela. Hello, guys. So, one thin layer. You can see how pigmented the creams collection is. Absolutely love the cream collection and it's suitable for any season. So it will be absolutely fantastic for the, um, for the winter designs as well. So I'm going to cure it. And then um, in the meantime, I'm going to prep my, prep my products for the cables. So um, I'm going to start with the really raised structure. Okay, so uh, this is the one that I prefer personally and what my clients always liked. Uh, and for this one, I'm using two products. So I'm using the gel polish and can be the same color as we used uh, as a, on a background, or can be a bit lighter or white or whatever you prefer. I'm going to use the same one. And now, depending from of, hmm, how thin, and um, how to say it, how defined the lines you want to have, you will choose two products to mix it, okay? If you like to have really, um, uh, really the structure that is super defined, I will recommend you to use the gemstone gel, okay? Hi Magda, hello to everyone, hello Savi, hello. Uh, the gemstone gel is the super thick gel, probably a lot of you already know it. If you mix it, you will have the product that is literally doesn't move anywhere, okay? Um, I like to have a bit more flow and I'm going to use the ultra top gel from the jar. Now, you can, and it is possible, to do the raised structure with the gel polish only, but, there's a big part and please remember uh, because uh, this is really, really important. The gel polish, if it's applied too thick, doesn't cure properly. If you have gel polish that is uncured, you will have all types of problems. Allergic reaction, peeling off, uh, design will be removed, like will just peels off, um, anything may happen. It can be more flat or high up. There is so many ways to do it. Actually, no wonder we're confused sometimes. Yeah, definitely. But for the race structure, for like a really 3D structure, uh, I would recommend you to remove, to mix the gel polish with some products like an ultra top gel, which is nice and thick, or the gemstone gel. And not to use the gel polish only because as I said, it may just not cure. Okay, and it's really and it's really problematic. And I'm going to show you how to use the gel polish only as well in the next design. 
but the structure is not as raised, not as high. Okay, and now, now up to you and up to your clients, you can cover this with the um, glossy top gel or the matte top gel. I like the matte top gel, extreme matte top gel. I like to keep everything in matte for this design, but it's really, really up to you. Okay, so I'll cover this one. Whoa, too much. Okie doke. And I'm going to cure it 60 seconds in our LED light. And we're going to create our design. So the ways are different. You can use full nail, cover the full nail, or just a part of the nail, or create like a French. It's really, really up to you. Uh, I'm just going to create some cables for you just to show you how you can do it and how to make it in easy, uh, in easy way. Uh, for this one, I'm using my brush pen, brush brush. Uh, you can use any brush of your choice. There's no right or wrong. It's really, really up to you. And Okie doc. So let's start. Um, there's a rule if it comes to 3D or 3D or raised uh, designs uh, on the nails. And please keep this in mind, okay? So the biggest and the highest design should be in the middle, okay, of the nail. If we apply really thick cable on the sides, uh, our nail will look bulky. So we can create really beautiful extensions or uh, put the base beautifully on the natural nail and suddenly we'll just apply really thick amount of the products like a 3D flowers or the lines or something like that and uh, we'll have the problem the nail will look bigger as it is. So when I do myself, when I do all type of designs like that, I start from the middle and this is where my uh, thickest and the biggest part is, okay? So I'm just picking up a bit of the product. You can see the uh, creams collection is really, really pigmented. The creams even mixed 50-50 with the ultra top gel didn't really change the color. And we're going to create our design. Okay, so I'll start from the middle and I'm going to draw the cable. Okay, and that kind of lines, I'm going to continue to draw to the bottom. Sorry, my intern visible, what has you mixed with the gel poly? So I have mixed the ultra top gel from the jar, but you can also use for this one, the gemstone gel. Okay, so ultra top gel from the jar works the best for me. Um, with the curing process and consistency and everything. I really, uh, really like to mix it with this one. I have also tried to mix it with a fiber gel and the Builder Clear, but I just like this one the most. Okay, so my, my preferences. And now I'm going to do the line alongside in here and just move it and you can see I'm not touching the lines no problem Alexandra okay so I'm just applying the small amount of the products and you can see I'm creating the lines and they're all staying where they are on the matte surface with the ultra top gel from the jar they're not moving anywhere and we really have the race structure. Okay, dog, and then continue to do this one. Great information. Thank you, Janet. Thank you. Okay, and now in the middle. On my cable, I'm just going to draw the line. But if there, for example, there will be smaller nail, you can also just create like a dot. There's a thing you cannot really cure this now, so you need to paint it. And uh, what you really need to do, uh, you need to sprinkle it with sugar 
powder or the acrylic powder or the reinforcing powder okay uh, before curing so you can do this in stages but in a salon you can really use this mixture that i showed you and create the full design then sprinkle and just really saves us a lot of time okay or you can do like for example two nails on different hands so one is working one is curing that will work as well and the other line on the other side of course guys is just an example of this design this is not the only way of creating this okay and now I've got my lines and now the biggest part and the thickest part and the highest part is in the middle. Now I'm going to use a bit less product and I will just do the lines on the side, but they're much thinner. So I will still have the raised structure, but not as thick as the middle part. That will really help me to keep the C curve as it is and do not create any bulk, unnecessary bulk on my client's nails. and the other side see how fast this design is so now my next step is going to be uh, use the prestige acrylic crystal clear I'm going to take my spatula and I'm going to sprinkle my wet gel polish okay Take your time with this one, okay. remove the excess, sprinkle again. The gel polish, our gel polish mixture, we soaked um, the powder, we just get the powder in. And you need to look for no shiny things. So you can see uh, the powder is like inside the gel now and we have shiny bits, so we need to sprinkle more just to make sure our design will be matte and will last, okay? Just like a sweater. And now is much better. I will just check the sides as well. So I'm using this powder only for, this, for, the, for the designs. So like, for example, um, these designs or ombre designs, I do not use this powder anymore for the creating the nails. So I've got like separate uh, jar. And now I'm going to cure it. A 60 second cure it will be more than enough. Okay, uh, this looks very easy. Well, <laughs> it is easy. It is actually easy. But while this one is curing, I'm just going to show you. Just draw, uh, draw for you the uh, the pattern that I've done. Okay, so we're just doing this like that. Okay. So this is super, super easy. And you can, of course, make it like more rounded movements or square, it's really, really up to you. And then we add in the lines. And we create a really nice cable. Uh, hi everyone, I'm late again. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Janet. Thank you, Sabina. And inside I've just placed lines but you can easily use the dots or add the dots to the sides it's really depending how much space you have and what kind of creation uh, creation you want to have i made the same design in one of my life oh that's brilliant sabine it's easy isn't it so it's, it's just super super easy and i'm using this pattern a lot and this one is mostly liked for my clients as well so with the same pattern okay so now what we need to do after curing, we just need to remove the excess of the powder and our design is done. And you can see we've got nice raised structure and this one will last no problem because we mix the gel polish with the, uh, with the top gel. We have no problem with uncured products, 100%, 100% never happened anything to my clients. Whenever I was doing these designs and I was doing that kind of designs for years, and my clients were coming back after three, four weeks and the design was absolutely untouched. The only thing that is um, that you need to tell your clients, so first day, whenever you finish this design, uh, it just feels rough. 
But to be honest, once our client go home and wash the dishes, uh, it just cre is, it is more smooth. So it's not like we'll break our tights or something. Uh, so uh, getting smooth. So if your client will say like, mm, I'm not really sure it's too rough for me, maybe we can cover it. Uh, just explain it to them. It's just literally for a day or just tell them, just go home, wash the dishes and you'll be absolutely fine. Okay. So this is, uh, this is super easy design. And uh, in this way, the same pattern is done in here. The same is done here in the middle and here on the side. So you have really a lot of variations. And then the same one is done in here. Uh, hello, Gemma. Thank you, Marina. Thank you, Magnetic Sweden. Thank you, Monica. So as you see the same pattern here. I just made the thicker lines. So I didn't use this stuff mm -hmm. inside. So every time you will have something uh, completely, completely different. Okie doc. So let's do another color. And um, now my favorite now, now my favorite. So my favorite now for these designs is the full art brown. Um, you know, I don't like brown, but I just, um, I think it looks best, uh, the brown and the blue. Uh, hello, me Mari, thank you so much. Okay, so the same way, I'm just going to start with the Uh, Sabine, yellow. Oh, yeah, this is actually what I was thinking about this when I was preparing the designs. And during the winter time, we hardly ever see the clients wearing a bright colors sweater, or at least my clients or people in here. From time to time, you can see some neon orange or something like that. And of course, you can create this for your client. It's not a problem at all. But I need to say the most popular designs with this specific patterns are with nudes. Okay, it's something that is really well for the winter, but it might be completely different in Germany, of course. And uh, thank you so much. You're truly amazing. Oh, thank you, Leslie. Thank you, thank you. Elvira, thank hello, Elvira. Hello, Lily. So uh, the pastels, pastels and all um, types of uh, brown, navy, gray, this light pink, like a baby pink, these are the most popular. Okay, green, if it comes to green, no super bright green, more like a bottle green. This is uh, more uh, the wintery shades, but of course, I might be wrong, and my your clients will like a bright orange or bright yellow, you're more than welcome to do that, no problem at all. And let's do uh, this time, let's mix it up. Uh, our design with fuller brown and I'm going to use hello Ella and I'm going to use the stamping so it's really uh, will be now did you make the brown and the stripes in cream no I made the brown and then and uh, the stripes I mixed a bit with the um, Provence pink okay just to make it a bit lighter so you're going to see it now I'm going to remove the sticky layer and what I'm going to do next, I'm going to use the stamping. But first I need the tape, so I just want to use a bit of the tape. You can use the air nails uh, stickers, really up to you. Okay, so I'm going to use the stamping on this part of my nail. So just to make sure I've got nice clear line and I'm going to look for the snowflakes. So I'm not ready for the Christmas yet. I don't know what about you. And I'm really, I'm, although I have prepared the Christmas designs, I don't want to post it yet. We still have time for Christmas, but uh, when is the winter, we can really uh, use some snowflakes and uh, all types of wintery designs. And uh, we can use our stamping plates. Uh, we have already now in Magnetic Nail Designs four uh, stamping plates in Christmas team or the winter team. And I'm going to use the Christmas number two, maybe. I've got beautiful snowflakes in here. Uh, where I have the snowflakes also. Snowflakes we also have in the stamping plate, oh dear like in here or the wee stars. Of course, you don't need to do the snowflakes. You can do whatever you whatever you wish. But first thing first, I'm going to quickly clean my stamping plate because I've used that. And any color of your choice. I'm going to use the white one uh, only because 
and he's just um, yeah will be really really visible and my white nail polish just a nail polish and I need my card or I'm just so not not prepared I have no stuff Not prepared at all, so I needed my stamp to do that. Let me clean it. Okay. So let's quickly stamp some snowflakes. Of course, you don't need to use the snowflakes. You can just paint them um, or you can use anything you wish you can also use the liner gel if you wish so and the uh, nail polish is easier for me because it's just faster okay so and then i'm removing oh, i had some black one that's fine i'm removing the tape and i've got straight line which makes a huge uh, huge difference and it's much much faster now i'm going to cover it all with my extrema top gel and then on top we're going to create the pattern okay i had something black on the stamp so please forgive me just to save time i'm not going to clean it and start over again but for the client i would okay so i don't want to any have any black spots now um, this time i want to have the pattern just a bit uh, lighter so i don't want to have the same color just a bit lighter color so i'm going to use the fuller brown and just make it a bit lighter and i'm going to add to this one just tiny amount of provence pink which is like peachy, orangey, light brown shade, I would say. Okay, so just Provence pink was just too light for me. So I just want to make lighter brown. So sometimes if you just have one color, for example, like one brown in your, in your palette, you can just add some orange or, or, some, or even white to make it a bit lighter and that will really help you to uh, create your design. Now, um, mix it, no. I'm going to show you how to do it with just the gel polish. Now, I'm not going to create super raised structure as I've done before. This one will be more uh, flat, okay? So, I'm going to start with the line and the line will be a divider, if you see it. I'm still using my brush brush, but you can use Hello Janinka, but you can easily use the Pepin's Choice, whatever you prefer. Okay. So you can see I'm just using small amount of the products. I'm just painting it. It is visible and I'm not going to create any raised, uh, really raised structure. It will be still a bit of 3D, but not as, um, as raised, okay? So now I'm going to create the, the pattern and we'll just do it a bit different. I'm going to draw later what I'm what I'm doing so hopefully that will that will help you we're just going to create like a star with the rhomboids so for the star I normally start like this just to make sure all my rhomboids are even. And this is my way, uh, but of course you can do any other way. So 
you can see on a matte surface my, my gel polish doesn't move anywhere but I'm using a small amount of the product the small amount of the product is a key will be still visible please do not try make a 3d designs with your gel polish only because that will all only cause you problems okay not only problems that your design might be a mess but also problems with the curing and design may just come up so i'm just creating my rhomboids I don't need to really worry about now the uh, thickness of the products uh, in the middle or in the side because uh, it's really a small amount of the product anyway. Hope you see you see what I'm doing. I'm just creating like a rhomboids to create like a star on our sweater. I will match my snowflakes as well. Of course, on a client, try to make it as even as possible to make it look nice. And if you manage not to touch the lines, that will be just perfect. Okay, so my star is here. And now, because I don't want it to move anywhere, there's one thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to pick up my detailer number three and I'm just separate this one. Okay, now it's better. I'm going to sprinkle my gel polish with the acrylic powder and procure it so it won't go anywhere. So it's a bit different with the working with the gel polish only because no matter what has tendency to move, it's just a really thin product. So maybe that's why I much prefer to work with just a mixture, which is much thicker. Okay, I'll quickly procure it. Just a few seconds, so it won't move anywhere. And then I will continue with my design. So this one, uh, this uh, design is super easy. It's really, really super easy as well. Okay, and I will continue to draw my pattern now i've got oh sorry already i've got one star so it will be easier for me to create another one but of course you don't need to create like more stars you can just um, add the dots or whatever you prefer Continuing my drawing. So if you think about the patterns on a sweater, most of the time, and uh, they are like that. These are geometric lines, uh, some more rounded, some less rounded, but still geometric patterns. So they all go in into in the lines, uh, either horizontally or vertical. So please remember about this one. So now I have my pattern diagonal. So everything goes diagonal as well. Uh, it's not like painting flowers freely. Freehand, we need to follow some rules to make it look like a sweater. Okay, and now inside, I'm just not going to create another flower. I just create like a rhomboid thing here. You see how small amount the product I'm using for this one and it's still visible, the texture. Can you use gel polish on stamping plate to create same design? Um, I, you can use the gel polish, uh, you can use the gel polish on stamping. Uh, I personally don't like it because it's not always happening, but I'm going to show you in a, in a second what I've done for one of these designs, just to make sure I will recreate the perfect pattern but just give me a second i'll finish with this one and i'm going to show you my blue and i'm going to tell you what i've done there 
Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I cannot really leave this one because I want it to stay in one place and I need to cover it with my acrylic powder. Okay, so now just a spatula or whatever clear tip or whatever you use. Started my Christmas designs already. I guess cozy sweater designs will be in a plan for this week. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. So I don't think any of our clients or maybe some, some crazy one, but uh, not many are ready for the Christmas patterns, but I'm sure some will uh, like to wear some sweaters especially with the colors that are neutral not really Christmassy they really don't need to be connected to Christmas at all okay again I'm checking it if it's all matte okay doc and now I'm going to cure it 60 seconds Ooh. And in the light. Now, um, where is it? So, Ina, my dear Ina, I haven't posted or told them yet too early. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not I'm not ready for Christmas designs either. Okay, Ina, so this design, this here, this pattern, uh, is made with the mixture of the gel polish uh, for, uh, for fuller brown with the gemstone gel, so it will be much, much thicker. And I have used this uh, stamping plate Christmas one, this pattern, I just stamp on it with my nail polish and then I cover it all with the, with the design. So I've got specific design that I just covered. So for those of you that have no idea how to draw and get the problems with the drawing straight lines or the patterns, the uh, stamping plate Christmas, you can see we've got pattern here of the sweaters here of the sweaters here and even here with the snowflakes you can use this pattern stamp on it and then just color it okay so you can see nothing is visible from underneath if it comes to white i've just covered it all with my uh fuller brown mixed with the um gemstone gel okay with the gemstone gel because it was much thicker and i had full control of every bit but this is really a uh, amazing idea and let me just look on a different uh, one if we have some sweaters i think on a christmas number one christmas one is the only one okay so a uh, stamping plate christmas one you've got one two three four different patterns that you can follow what is that rose gold the rose gold was the rose cream from the creams collection and a rose gold on these designs, my dear friends, is the gel polish Isabella. Gel polish Isabella, and let me just, uh, doo -doo -doo. where's my brush? My brush is here. Gel polish Isabella, and I have tested gel polishes, uh, Isabella, Pulcinella, and all of them sparkly one from the Balmaske collection, and you can easily use it. Um, on top of the designs, you don't. If you do not cover it with the um, top gel, you're absolutely fine. Nothing will happen with the color. So you can see the fuller brown and Isabella. It's a perfect match, or I should even say, the perfect match. And just the touch of the glitter. We all love glitter. I love glitter. I think it makes this designs much more interesting with a bit of the glitter, with a bit of the shine. And then we can even make a wee dots in the middle of our flower. Why not? And then just makes us perfect. So it's 30 seconds cure for this one. And you guys don't need to worry. It doesn't change the color. I was using lots of sun beds and had the designs uh, covered on top with these uh, sparkles and never had an issue. So the fuller brown was with the Isabella. That's the Isabella from a Balmaske collection. Now I have used the uh, Mont Blanc blue from our uh, Picnic in Paris collection together with the Pulcinella. So you can see the silver is perfectly matching to this one. And these are, apart from maybe this star on top, these are not really um, 
Christmas designs. I'll definitely say these are really um, wintery, late, uh, oh, I have some color in here, late uh, autumn, maybe January, but definitely no Christmas. So you can use these two colors together, no problem. And now also wanted to show you in here. Here for this one, I have used the uh, Moody Move. So this is a 357 color from our older collection. It's a really, really nice toned down purple. So that's the color. It's beautiful for autumn, for late autumn season. And the uh, pattern was done with the uh, Blackberry. So it's you are anniversary follower too. What is that? Oh, I don't know what is that. Follower anniversary. Oh, I actually can see that. What is all about? So I've got, oh, I can, I can actually see the badges. So guys, I didn't see the badges. So uh, see if you've got the top fan. Oh, thank you so much. Follower anniversary. Uh, hmm. Here you go. Maybe you just follow me for years. That's why it's your anniversary of following me. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, so this is the Blackberry, and I made this a bit lighter. And I've also used the uh, Pulcinella together for this design. This is just to show you how you can, uh, it's just an example, how you can mix and match this set. So it doesn't have to be just one pattern and then just the colors. You can you can mix and match with the glitter, with different colors as well. And uh, for this design, I have used the gemstone gel as well. The lines are much, much thicker, a bit more raised. Okay, you can see uh, it's like more, more 3D. I guess we are the best followers. You, you are the best. You, you are all guy, the, guys the best. You're, you're my best. You're my best. Okay, so um, what I wanted to tell you now, uh, what you can use instead of uh, Love Pulcinella, such a great coverage. Yeah, I love the Balmasque, all the glittery shades, uh, the gold, rose gold. So the gold, just the yellow gold. How durable is this design? Ina Matthias, Ina Matthias. If you, Ina, follow my advice, I'm telling you, uh, you can wear it forever, okay? And I'm serious, it's not coming off. I've tried and tested. So this is, guys, the Jolly, beautiful yellow gold. That will be beautiful to mix it as well. And you've seen the Isabella and you've seen the Pulcinella. These three colors are just absolute must have. Uh, for the uh, winter season. Uh, it is in a, uh, really it is, it is durable. For uh, these designs, you can also use the glitter spray. The glitter spray, I would recommend you to use the mermaid glitters, either uh, multi, uh, blue green, or blue violet, okay? These are the finest one, and you can really make the tiny patterns and they will be all visible. Plus the sparkles are just amazing, okay? So for those of you that don't want to wear boring, the same color, go for sparkles. And here we have our beautiful uh, fashion stickers. And in here I've created my own gem. Uh, you can see it as well. So you've got different variation uh, for this design space. Again, done in exactly the same way, but instead of sprinkle with the acrylic powder, I have used the glitter sprayed Mermaid Multi, but um, I wouldn't recommend the Mermaid um, Rose Gold because these particles are a bit bigger. So if you have the tiny design or tiny lines, it may just not get through it. So uh, I would just recommend um, the smaller particles. Blue green, blue violet, or the multi will be the best for this design. Uh, you will still see the color from underneath, but with a bit of sparkle. Hello, Katrin. That's okay, that's okay. Katrin, uh, the video will stay. Uh, guys, so I'm going to save this the video and I'm going to post it on my YouTube channel and I will share it with you later. So then, uh, Katrin, you can watch it from the beginning. But the last designs I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the flat version, okay, of these designs. This is like a sweater pattern. I really, really like this one. And of course you can paint all of these rhomboids and uh, which takes time. And if you have problem with the geometric design, that is actually quite difficult. So uh, what I'm going to do, I am going to show you my friends 
how to make it super fast, super easy, and for two pounds fifty, you're going to love me, okay? So, and I'll tell you why the two pounds fifty. So first, the color, I'm going to use the peach cream, why not? So peach cream, just one layer. You can see, again, I'm using the cream collection. The nudes are just fantastic. If you haven't got them already, you should have it. These are the colors that you will wear all year round, okay? So this is something that you will wear always. And this is just, uh, yeah, just uh, just my choice for, I got this on my desk, but you can use anything you like. And this is the end result of our, uh, of our previous design with the brown. I'm just going to add it in here. So you can see, in the abstract, they're all the same. It's just the simple patterns, but actually each one is completely different. Okay, so you can see, so absolutely brilliant, absolutely amazing. You can make it super quick. And it's a super fast design and really to, uh, good to upsell, even for the customers that are like nude colors, but you need to actually show to your people and to your clients in the salon what you can do. So I would definitely recommend you to have few versions of that, okay? So have one version that is nice and bright and maybe not as bright, but bold color, like for example, non blank blue, uh, and with silver or something, or something with the glitter, but as well to have something really toned down. And for example, like a peach cream, with just a peach cream design, you don't need to even add the sparkles in here, just to make sure that it's uh, suitable for the nude lovers and also have different versions of the uh, pattern race so please have the version when it's pretty flat and please have the version which is uh, a bit more raised because that will also be suitable for more uh, customers and you can really easily sell it in your salon and just make a nice upsell so first thing first guys I'm going to remove the sticky layer And now, what I'm going to take is ta -da, two pounds fifty fashion stickers, and these are perfect rhomboids. And I've actually today I was painting these designs, and I was saying, thinking like Jesus Christ, if my client would sneeze or just something, that would just takes me ages to correct it and just do it again and again and again. And I was like, I actually had the rhomboids and I have the rhomboids in the silver and the gold. And these are absolutely brilliant. So these are the fashion stickers. We have this on uh, graphic, just the lines, square, uh, triangles, hearts, circles, and the rhomboids. And rhomboids are absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to start to stick on my stickers Okay, that really will save you time. You cannot make it wrong. Okay, of course you can just not stick it in the middle. Yeah, it's possible, but, uh, but yeah. Like in general, you can just unstick it and correct it. And you see, I'm just going to put another one in here. And another one in here. So that will be more also for more like minimalistic clients, okay? This one and this one is super fast. So uh, I'm going to use the base and top gel because I need my super smooth surface to create the black lines, okay? Um, this is These are the lines we're going to draw. We have no stickers for this one, so we need to draw. So it's a bit of hand painting involved. But uh, if you have the uh, nice and smooth surface, Easy peasy. So, base and top. Um, if you have some extra hair, uh, definitely remove it. Although it's a sweater design, we don't need any fluff on it, okay? So, we're going to cure it. 10 seconds is more than enough. If you do two nails, uh, you can just cure it easily. 30 seconds is not a problem. We're going to later cover with the gel polish as well. And now I'm going to use my liner gel black and Pepin's Choice uh, brush. And I will need my paper palette. If you struggle to create the lines with the liner gel black, 
uh, that are super fine, super thin and smooth, uh, please use basin top gel polish and do not remove the sticky layer. You will never have the problem with the uh, creating super fine lines, okay? So it's actually much easier than creating the lines on a matte surface and you don't need to really mix this product with anything. You can just use the liner gel, uh, liner gel black. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a lot of pigment into my hair. So it's not like I'm picking up the products, I'm just soaking off the hair. And because I already have the lines, I just really need to follow the direction. Okay? So I'm going to start with the, from the middle and from the middle, the line, and the other side. So you can see I'm just making this in stages. I'm making my life easier. So the same, you work with your client's hands so you can turn it in different direction is not a problem we all have the joints we all movable so you won't hurt your clients if they will just move and then again i'm just going to follow the lines that are already there maybe not the lines but the direction okay and the other side So this one requires some patience and uh, a bit of practice if you uh, struggle with the fine lines, but I'm sure you're going to make it, no problem. But if you use the uh, basin top, you will never have the problems at all to create beautiful line work. Okay, and now I'm going to start from this one. Again, following the lines. If something will go wrong, we already have the cured basin top. You can just easily wipe everything off and start over again before the curing. So feel free to do that if something goes wrong. And you know, I get to think with the clients, if I made a mistake and I know my line is not straight or something, and my clients ask him, I was like, why are you wiping? I was like, I'm changing, I'm cha I just changed my mind, okay? So yeah, my client don't need to know my hand is shaking or just something, it's just, it's just happening to all of us, but that's my way. I've just changed my mind, so I need to start over again. But working with the gel is just brilliant because we can wipe it and start over again. So this one, and you can see because I'm following the lines, I'm creating another rhomboid and I don't need to worry it. And I don't need to stay with the ruler or anything like that. So if you do not have the fashion stickers yet and you do not have this specific shape, have one, you're going to need it. Okay, and now of course we can just follow and create more lines in here. It's really up to you or just finish. Uh, there are different variations of this one and you don't need to of course use the stickers. You can just draw the rhomboids for yourself. Uh, hello Alka. Uh, you can just draw the rhomboids if you have the patience and time and your client have time to do that, not a problem at all. So now I'm going to cure it 60 seconds and I can finish it with my top gel. Um, here uh, you can see this the same design with the golden stickers, but here I didn't connect the lines with the rhomboids. Not a problem at all, it's just a different variation. Uh, here I have used the silver one, but it's more of them, it's all together for, um, yeah nine ten stickers all together so this design is much more expensive expensive as you can see and i've created the lines as well connected it all together and these two i painted rhomboids by hand and that took me ages okay i was correcting this lines and correcting and correcting and correcting and i was thinking like jesus christ that would just take me ages to do it on a client but with the stickers is just brilliant so we have the stickers in the silver and the gold uh, so you can uh, mix and match uh, with different colors so of course for more nudie i would just say the golden one will match 
but also the silver one for a bit darker colors, not a problem at all. So now let's use the top gel, any top gel of your choice, Supreme Finish or just a true color top gel. I'm going to use the true color top gel so everything will be without the blue filter. For the nude shades, if your clients will go for a holiday or something like that, please uh, use the uh, Supreme Finish. Uh, but normally during the winter, if our clients do not use sun beds, uh, they just pure white and they like it. The true color is just brilliant. So let's cure it, 60 seconds. And uh, there's one thing I forgot to do. I meant to do it, uh, show you how I created the stars. And I'm really uh, following geometric lines. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. So glad you like it. Um, so for our stars, uh, where are they? They are here. There are stars in here. What I've done, I've just started with the two lines like that and two lines like that. Okay. Then just make like a wee triangles. Okay, and then I have added another lines and then fill it to connect them all. So it's actually super easy. You can make it six, you can make it eight. It's really up to you. What I will be uh, recommending you guys, I'll just put another, take another piece of paper. If you, uh, if this is your nail or this is your uh, space for the design, okay, be careful with creating this lines because you want to fit in this part okay so do not create your first lines like that because you won't have space to add the rhomboids there will be will be something like that and you will have missing thing okay so it's better if you just leave a bit of the space this is our nail a bit of the space you can always make later just a bit longer is not a problem at all okay and then if you want to fill this design you can just make it a bit longer and then you will have full space okay so that will be always perfect but if you struggle and you don't want to create it this rhomboids by hand is not a problem at all. What you need to do, you just need to get yourself the Christmas stamping Christmas number one and you will have it on your stamping plate. Okay, so what you need to do, you just need to stamp and then cover it with your gel polish, sprinkle with the acrylic powder or the glitter spray and you will be absolutely fine. Okay, so it's not a problem. So let me just add this one here. Let's move them. Okay, so hopefully that uh, that was easy. Okay, and these are our designs with the with the rhomboids. So thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you, Michaela. So these are these are our designs with the stickers and uh, of course drawn by hand. So we need to still create in the lines, but you can make your life easier and just make it part. Just make sure you stick into our. So these are our rhomboids. You start from the middle and then you really follow this line, okay, these lines. So it's not difficult at all, okay, and the other side as well. And the same this direction. You've got already lines that are perfect because they are from stickers and they're always the same and you don't need to stress. You just need to follow the direction of the line. So it makes the life much more easier than painting this and drawing by hand. But if you if you like to do it, it's not a problem at all. You should actually, you should try it and create uh, absolutely stunning designs for these two designs. I have used the Creams collection as well, peach, uh, pink, rosé and two pair to create this design and here I also added a bit of the white so you can see these are super cool so let me show you show you all of these designs again um, hope you uh, you will create a lot because these are super fast you see it's eight and we just create an uh, creating three with all the drawing so 
these are all of these designs if you need any colors that you don't have it you can get it on my website magneticnails.uk uh, and uh, of course if you're from germany you're more than welcome to ask bianca uh, or any other uh, distributor you're watching uh, for these colors uh, and just just try to create the different one okay try to create uh, the ones that you will like and you wouldn't like because remember all of us are completely different and some of our clients uh, like and stuff that we just thinking you, sh you shouldn't wear it but oh well we cannot discuss the taste but my personal choice this year are these two okay for this year no pinks no lights no no rose nothing these two i would recommend to everyone fuller brown and mont blanc blue with isabella and pulcinella together are just absolutely outstanding in my opinion and please try it if you try it please tag me on my instagram magda magnetic i would love to see your work uh, that we, you've done from our workshop and I will see you all in two weeks' time. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.